I am not sure who I'm voting for yet. I'm going to vote for Biden. I'm uh, voting for uh, Donald Trump. And I would like to totally disagree with that. I mean, I, I do agree. Well, I'd have to disagree. And it was very flatlined. I don't really feel that either candidate is somebody that I really want to support and really want to get behind. I'm voting for Biden because I think he stands for everything that Trump doesn't. He is a man of honest, honesty, integrity, and he's not corrupt. I am a Democrat, but I, I don't want someone who can be hijacked by either party. And I don't think he will. I saw the benefits from the Trump plan with respect to his tax cuts. Uh, one of the specific issues was a qualified business income deduction that was specifically designed as a deduction for small businesses. I'd like to see it continue. Okay, uh, can, you tell, can you tell me exactly what Trump did to um, make the economy so great? Well, that, that was easy. I mentioned it in my, uh, my point. And I think he's exactly someone that we need right now that can bring America to, together. You know, healthcare was a very personal issue for me. Obamacare, it really hurt me. He's arrogant and rude. He is kind of an embarrassment to our country at times. I think that he dismisses some actual scientific claims. He ignores environmental concerns. There's a big polarization in this country. And, and while I don't think that it's completely his fault, having him in office does contribute to that. He's almost like a puppet. I don't really know who will be running the country if he's in charge. I do not like his economic plans, and I think it's more than just about money. I think that there's a big domino effect when the economy comes into play, and that scares me um, with his health care, with his taxes. In my lifetime, and even modern history, I don't think our, our country has been any more polarized as divided as it has been. Our leader can't even have a, an argument or conversation. As soon as someone disagrees with him, he calls them, stu them stupid and ignorant and a monster. I mean, how is it that we can vote for someone to represent us who talks that way? To me, that's just unconscionable. Vote. I think that that's the most important thing, whoever you vote for, to please vote. If you look at his economic plan that he actually got to start the economy from where we had it stagnating, got it to where it was, which you acknowledge was doing very well prior to coronavirus, that in and of itself is, is reason. But one other thing I would like to point out is look at his actions versus his words. I agree. A lot of the things that he says, I don't support. In fact, I don't believe he should be on Twitter. I think there's a lot of people who are torn. I mean, of course, I talk to people and I just don't know that either candidate is really is really reaching us but i do feel like i said in the beginning that it is my duty as an american to vote and even if i don't like the candidates i'm still going to to vote